now the starting group for the Milwaukee Bucks. Middleton and Giannis are the forward tandem. The backcourt comprised of Bledsoe and Matthews. And it's Lopez in at the five. And for the Heat, they've got Robinson. He's out there with Bam Adebayo. Jimmy Butler is out there with Jones. And it's none in at the point guard position. Opening night, Brent, always exciting. Technically, every team is undefeated with uh, a lot you, of hope. You're just fired up. I mean, the off I am fired The up. NBA never stops, Kevin. We know. know this, right? right? Off, Isn't it great, though? I'm so oh, glad it doesn't stop. The offseason is, is just absolutely ridiculously so fun. exciting. So fun. So much movement and hope for franchises that, uh, you know, have struggled for a long time. And, and here we go. Hope springs eternal. It's opening night. Pass the bump. Some nice ball movement here by the Heat. And the rejection by Antetokounmpo. But beyond the physical stuff, what I like about Giannis right now is the feel for the game. That time, great timing defensively. Here is Bloodson. The wide open look here for Lopez. No good on the triple on the way. Shoots over Matthews. Lets it go from the baseline and nails it. Yeah, you can't fault the defense there. Butler just superb at draining difficult shots, especially in that mid-range area. Now here's Bledsoe. Stay there, stay there, stay there. Come get it, come get it. Knocked away. It's off his foot. And they're saying he kicked the ball. That's a two-pointer and a miss there off the inbound. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the deep. And Butler gets it to go. And how about the improvement of Butler in the catch-and-shoot game? Every year he seems to get a little more comfortable. Bloodshow outside. Pass to Middleton. Now here's Lopez. Just four to shoot. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. The Heat have gone three of five shooting the ball so far. The first quarter of action, two minutes in. Robinson kicks the butt. Puts up a three. And the Heat, another three. Defensively, they've been a step slow here to start. And Milwaukee calls their first time out of the game. And Greg, when you look at the top perimeter defenders in the game today, how high does Jimmy Butler rank on that list? Look, he's in the top handful, no doubt about it. Multiple all-defense selections. He is a true two-way terror. And let's briefly take a look at the stats for Eric Bledsoe. Last year, getting it done. Put up about 16 points a game, five assists, and four rebounds. And very few players in the league can go out and produce like he has. Just a great stretch for him. He keeps playing like this, and you know in arenas, especially at home, when the star player is playing this well, those MVP chants come raining down. Now here's Middleton. Here's Giannis. And that time, also a missed shot. You get a feeling that he made that much more difficult than he had to. No reason why he had to fade away on that jumper. Butler against Bledsoe. And the foul on Eric Bledsoe. That's his first foul. Lopez against Adebayo. Outside Butler. Six to shoot. From deep. Good hustle from the big man there. Love seeing Lopez work hard. Get down low. Make a difference on this end. On to Dekumbo. No good. Kev, I know it's early, but going 0 for 4 to start a game can make a team get a little bit tight. 
I like their focus coming in. Terrific execution so far. Well, if there were four or five boxes to check in terms of the game plan tonight, they might have checked six. I mean, they're doing everything out there. Yeah, slow start right now. Five straight misses to get this one going. Hudson looking it over. And the pass to Giannis. Middleton with it. A three. Rebound by the Heat. Adebayo's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. None passes to Butler. Here's none. Right side, Butler. Pass to none. Some nice ball movement here by the Heat. Over Bledsoe. And it's sent back by Bledsoe. 6 1 guard Bledsoe up there with the block. Wow. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. Last time they met was in Milwaukee. Well, I mean, they lost their last matchup with this team, and foul trouble really plagued them throughout the game. And they had a few important guys sitting there on the bench at a time when they really could have used them on the floor. They have to play much more in control here tonight. Here's the list of players who had the most deals in the NBA last season. Fifth, Jimmy Butler. He showed such tremendous defensive instincts. Trust me, nobody wanted him guarding them last year. Here's Antetokounmpo playing Oklahoma City. He was nearly unstoppable. To end the cold streak, Robinson pulls it in. Our Heat leading by 12. Always going up for the alley-oop here. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. For three, Middleton. And it's Miami with the rebound. Jones looking for an opening. Pass to Autobio. A jump hook. And that one goes long. And he's got so many ways to score in the post. Just nifty uses fakes. You have to have a body on him every time he's down there. Yeah, easy call. Well, he coined the name himself last season. Brent, are you willing? <laughs> are you willing to call Brook Lopez Flash Mountain? I am, but I think Brook Lopez was also looking for some kind of deal so that him and his brother could get free rides for the rest of their lives. Shooting two. The first one falls. One thing that the Heat have done, really, for the last four years, block shots. Well, they've had some very athletic big men. You think of... Hassan Whiteside, who's moved on to Portland, and now Bam Adebayo. Length on the wings, and of course, Dwayne Wade being the best shot-blocking two-guard of all time. That's always helped their defense be scrappy and challenge a lot of shots. It's very efficient and a well-tuned offense for the Bucks. They drive, they kick, they get open threes. Second in the league last year, as that was Mike Budenholzer's biggest change in threes. And with the Bucks in their offense, Brent, it all starts with Giannis. Starts with Giannis, and that might have got them into trouble last year. They could maybe use another creator in a way where a guy can manufacture his own points. 
who knows maybe that's growth within maybe that's Chris Middleton as he tries to improve his game or Eric Bledsoe in some way but the team does need a little bit more dynamism on the offensive end. Free throw, good Butler. You know, and, and Butler wasn't a starter until midway through his second season. But, but since then, his minutes have gone up and his productivity has gone way up. And so Butler nails both of them. And you look at Jimmy Butler. He was about 6'8", about 230 pounds. Uh, great, great size on the wing. And he keeps himself in tip-top shape. His strength, one thing I'm not sure the casual fan even recognizes. Give him a little credit. Take some guts to keep shooting if you're struggling this bad. It's getting a little bit ugly right now. Uh, a team's rebounding is a great measure of its energy. And theirs has been terrific here in the first quarter. I think the defense has more concerns out there on the floor and they give him a good open look from the perimeter. None passes to Butler. On target from 13 feet. Butler's got 11. Flat out taking the game over and there's no way he's going to give it up. Here's Lopez and a great assist by Anadokounmpo as that one goes in. Well, great floor away. This says that Tentacubo has a sense for when the D has overcommitted or shifted his way, and then he finds where his teammate is open on the floor. The offensive rebound. Bucks trail by eight. Pass to Matthews. The pass to Anadokounmpo, and here is Lopez. Over out of bio. Robinson pulls it in. His touch has left him in this quarter. Nowhere close to the kind of output they need from him. And the foul called on Antetokounmpo. That's foul number two for him. Robin Lopez has checked in for Milwaukee. Adebayo kicks to Jones. Here's none. Really played well against Brooklyn in his last outing. And Butler gets it to go. He is getting it done on the offensive end. Five buckets through seven shots. Bloodsoe outside. Back to Anadokounmpo. Bloodsoe outside. Just three to shoot. It's Autobio with the rebound. Autobio's got six rebounds now in the game. Outside Robinson. The feed now to Butler. Passes it to Autobio. Miami needs to get a shot off. Jones for three. The shot, no good. The Bucks go the other way with it. Ludzo passes to Anadokounmpo. Now here's Middleton. And the three ball is good. Middleton's got it back down to within single digits for the Bucks. Middleton only takes a second to get that shot off. Such a good catch and shoot game. And Miami calls their first time out of the game. And, and you know, the improvement we've seen over the last few seasons with Giannis is incredible. I mean, he just keeps adding to an already superstar level game
A different look for Miami. Crowder comes in for Robinson. And it's Drogic in for Derek Jones. And then for Milwaukee. Williams, he's checked in for Antetokounmpo. Dante DiVincenzo comes in for Chris Middleton. And it's Pat Connington in for Wesley Matthews. Here's none. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. And you know, Greg, this last season, Giannis improving on his rebounding and his passing. Career highs for him in both of those areas. If he ever adds a deep shot, I'm not sure how you guard him at that point. And Milwaukee has possession after the Heat pick up two. Pass to Connaughton, launches it. Jay Crowder with the rebound. And that one gives them a plus five rebound advantage, Kevin. Pass to Dragic. There's the three. The shot misses. Bucks trail by 10. Here's DiVincenzo. And there's the foul that goes on Jimmy Butler. That is his first foul of the game. Both teams will make substitutions. Now off the inbound, and the jam by Bledsoe. So much we talk about Bledsoe's athleticism. It was an eye-opener when he first came into the league. And that plays another one. Now here's Dragic. He had 19 points in the win against Brooklyn. And guys, the other thing that he did well was just facilitate the offense, pass the ball around beautifully in that one, seriously put on a passing clinic. Here's Dragic after Eric Bledsoe's score. Dragic dishes to Iguodala. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And since coming to the box, Eric Bledsoe hasn't been asked to do nearly as much as he has in the past. And for Bledsoe, that is a good thing, as he is best as a complimentary player. Not scoring as much, but his decision-making and shot selection have vastly improved. one is off player development not just a coach's job Brent something you're active in right now and uh, you know there are some players who are playing current who are terrific mentors and teachers on teams uh, there's no, no doubt about it that there are guys I think about first what Vince Carter has provided to the teams he's been around in the past couple seasons Zach Randolph to some degree was doing that as he moved from Memphis to Sacramento um, but there are guys who are still players and that are on the floor contributing and doing big things like Chris Paul and Mike Conley uh, that are such huge attributes to an organization when they start to introduce the changeover in their roster or the next phase of their team. You've got to give a lot of kudos and appreciate the fact that players who've been that great for that long accept and, and willingly accept having the role of, of teaching young guys and paying it forward. And role players that have been like, like Calderon and Haslam who have not been stars but have been important parts of their organization. Also can, tremendous examples of what it means to be a professional day in and day out. If your responsibilities aren't as great as the top four or five players, there's still things you can do to make your team better on a daily basis. Those are two great names, Kevin. Even Shenzo passes to Williams. Connington kicks to Lopez. Beyond the arc. And that one is off. And Miami the other way now. Uh, if he's going to keep shooting, they've got to run some plays for him. Screens, pick and rolls, anything they can do to get him started. Right side, Butler. The shot's good on the assist by Igudala. And that's now 19 points for Butler. Boy, has he put his foot on the pedal here this quarter. He's doing a terrific job in terms of leading their offense. Here's Connaughton. A 14-point game for him in the win against Oklahoma City. Bledsoe, that's a good shot, and now he's three for seven. Bledsoe showing some faith in the floater. Miami leading by nine. Rockets the pass to Crowder. Iguodala outside. For Miami, they have shot 75% at the line tonight, going three for four. 
and looking at last season's numbers, down below 70% as a team from the line. The first free throw is good. Uh, Andre Iguodala about as reliable as it gets. Steve Kerr calls him the adult in the room. Robinson's checked in for Butler. The box also changing it up. Atatakumbo comes in for Marvin Williams. And it's Hill in for Eric Bledsoe. And he makes the first but misses the second. And it's Antetokounmpo with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Milwaukee Bucks, trailing by 10. Well, Giannis continuing to work in the offseason at becoming a more efficient and better three-point shooter. That one looked nice. Dragic with it. From deep three-point range. And so it's the Miami Heat bringing the quarter to a close with a seven-point lead. A terrific tempo and a great pace. The fast break has been a central part of their offense. Back to the action after this word. You learn about Jimmy Butler difficult journey to where he is now but one thing always got him through basketball that's that it always took my mind off everything it always made me smile I had no cares in the world when I was shooting before you hear that so often don't you Greg between those lines can be an escape from the outside world and in the end, Butler's obsession became his escape. Maybe why he remains so devoted to the game. Welcome back, everyone. It's Noche Latina in the NBA as we resume action. And let's quickly break down the game we've seen from Miami, guys. Stingy on the defensive end in that first quarter. They were just getting up into people. Just a, a great job, really, of making the game ugly, trying to muck it up a little bit out there. And a moment now to reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up for the second quarter of basketball. Setting the four for the Bucks. Giannis is the four with Lopez the five. Then it's Chris Middleton, and there's Hill, and it's Connaughton in at the shooting guard position. Here is Robinson. He's coming off a 10-point game against Brooklyn. Outside Dragic. Just five to shoot. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Anna Kumbo. Clock at four. Here's Dragic. Chris Middleton can guard multiple positions out there, and his defensive effort solid on that play. And with the summer signing of Jimmy Butler, the Miami Heat demonstrating they still can lure star talent to South Beach. The Heat back on the rise. The Butler signing sets the stage for the summer of 2021 when they should have the cap space to sign another max player. The Bucs shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. Shoot two. He makes the first. Well, the evolution of Brooke Lopez continues as he is now a premier stretch five. His three-point shot continues to get better and now a huge part of his arsenal. And so he makes both from the line. 
And Lopez, bold enough to give himself a nickname. Yeah, well, what was it? Splash Mountain or, or something like that? I guess he's earned it with the work he's put in on his outside shooting. More and more centers these days shooting the three ball. Now here's Crowder. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Chris Middleton. That is his first foul of the game. Second quarter of basketball, just over a minute and a half played so far. Rogic kicks to Igudala. Just five on the clock. And then Igudala with the dunk. How about a few tricks still left up the Andre Iguodala sleeve? Incredible at taking his time that time, but still getting to the rim. Here's Connaughton. Inside. Here's Giannis. It drops for his second made shot of this game. An unimpressive 2 of 7, though. One of the more skilled offensive players that is on the floor here tonight, Kevin. Not an easy fella to hold in check. And here is Igudala. Three-pointer, Crowder, score the basket. Nice shot after missing his first attempt. Oh, check out the handles. Their nasty spin move had his man grabbing for air. Adetokounmpo looking over the floor. He can't get that one to fall. Good defense by Iguodala. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. Rogic finds Iguodala. Crowder against Middleton. Got a piece of it. Bucks trail by 10. Hill passes to Giannis. Giannis with another miss. Yeah, and that one way back in the first quarter is the three-pointer that has been his only one of the night. And here in the second quarter of action as we approach four minutes played. Six on the shot clock, and it's Brooke Lopez with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Brent, we have seen some players refuse to speak to the media. For whatever reason, where should that line be drawn? Well, there is a, a role and a responsibility, I think, of every player in the league, Kevin, given that it's an entertainment industry and that people have jobs around this league to tell stories, to have access to those players. Now, every player doesn't want to talk or, or get into certain things, but their availability should be made and people should have access to them. Look, I don't want to take out the trash every Tuesday, but I understand I've got to do it at home. Right. And so players have a responsibility to their franchise to be a voice at times. I always thought you were terrific with the media. Well, I appreciate that, Kevin. Maybe that's how I got this job. <laughs> Igudala. Great tee that time for Middleton. Bucks trail by eight. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Good on the triple. Well, Middleton right now staying aware of where his teammates are and hitting them when they're open. Now a timeout called by Miami. Chris Middleton's an interesting story. I remember when he signed his first extension and talking to at that time his head coach Jason Kidd that Chris was dealing with living up to the contract. I think after that first season went by he settled back down. It got him into a position to earn this second contract and now he knows where he belongs. He knows how important he is to the Milwaukee Bucks and their continued success and striving towards a championship for the city. And some changes here for the Heat. Bam out of Bios checked in for Olenek. And it's Jimmy Butler coming in for Robinson. Iguodala finds Dragic. 
Butler with the ball. Guarded by Bloodsoe. Back to Dragic. Three-pointer. The shot's good on the assist by Butler. Dragic has got five points so far. And for Middleton, he was drafted in the second round by Detroit. Brent, they sent him to the G League, which he says was the turning point for him. Well, I think he just got hungrier and realized there was a self-awareness part of this that he needed to grow and he needed to maybe adjust some of his work habits. Went from an overlooked second-round pick to an NBA All-Star, Kevin. I would call that great focus. And now he wants to be a consistent performer on a nightly basis to lead this team to championship level. It's his second foul, but not the end of the world. One more before halftime, though. That would change some things. And the Heat making a change here. Nunn's checked in. And Milwaukee also making a switch. Williams is checked in. And it's the Heat with the ball. They've held a 12-point lead earlier. Lock at six. The pass to Autobio. Back to Igudala. He drains it as the shot clock ticks down. Igudala has got four this quarter. Ah, the three C's, Kevin. Calm, cool, and collected. Igudala taking his time that time. Outside Matthews. Knocks it loose. And it's out of bounds. The Bucks able to retain possession here. Bloodsoe outside. Off target from three-point range. Yeah, just a solid job on the backboard. They are really controlling the inside. Here's none. Can't cash in from close range. Now, how about the timing he shows there to challenge that shot? Yeah, not easy to do there. And that's a guy that you can tell takes every possession defensively very seriously. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldridge. Well, Kevin, Jimmy Butler has made several all-star teams, but he remains single-minded in pursuit of his bigger goal. Butler said, I just want to win a championship. That's all that matters. I didn't do it in high school. I didn't do it in college. If I don't win it here, then I'll go to the 50 and over league someday. But I got to win a championship at some stage. Kevin? I like that attitude. Thank you, D.A. Miami no good on that time either. And here's Middleton bringing it up now for the Milwaukee Bucks. It's a five-point game. They'll be off to Charlotte for a game against the Hornets. And that game will be game two of three straight on the road. Now, here's Matthews. 14 points from him the last game against Oklahoma City. Oh, yeah! Good hustle by Iguodala, an alert defender who you can't be too careless around. Ludzo passes to Williams. Butler against Matthews, and so Milwaukee again turning it over. Here's a look now at what's coming up for the Milwaukee Bucks. On Sunday, they're off to Charlotte to face off with the Hornets. Then on Monday, they'll face off against Jimmy Butler and the Miami Heat. Here's none. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Kicks to Crowder. Now here's Iguodala. Poked away. Oh, and here comes Williams all alone. Offensive rebound. Some solid defense from Butler. And, the, and they're controlling the boards, Kevin. That's plus five in that category. Here's none. Guarded by Bloodsoe. And play stops. Whistle on what looks to be an illegal screen. Looking now at the numbers for Middleton. Good season for him last year. Averaged about 18 points a game last season. Six rebounds and four assists. And you look at the numbers he's been putting up. Fantastic scoring production from him. Yeah, hard to ask for anything more at this point. He's really stepped up and he's really delivered. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. Each year, so many coaching changes. Brent, do you feel they generally get too much blame when things go wrong? I don't know if blame is the word, Kevin. That's just the easy out for a lot of organizations that want to make some changes. 
the, the main thing that's frustrating, I think, for the coaching fraternity is patience. You have to be realistic about the potential of your team and how much time it takes to grow what it is that coaches' culture is all about. That's where teams sometimes lose out and give up on somebody a little bit early. But these guys go into it eyes wide open. Oh, there's no question about it. And really good coaches in the NBA know that it might not last all that long. So they're going to be who they are. That's who you want to hire. Hire a coach who knows exactly who he is, both coming in the door and walking away. Robinson's checked in for the Heat. Jones comes in for Andre Iguodala. Well, let's take a look at last year's top scores. Third is Giannis Antetokounmpo. And looking back, his points per game really underscored the fact that he never took a game off. I mean, one special performance after another all season long. Here's DiVincenzo. Off target from outside. Ooh, he missed an easy chance to put some points on the board. He won't get a much better look at that kind of shot again here probably tonight. Here's none. He's guarded by Hill. Five to shoot. Passes to Jones. It's so about it's a Kumbo. There's the lob and the Kumbo up high to stuff the alley oop. That's a nice toss up there, so you gotta like the timing. But of course, that's Giannis. He's gonna grab anything. Pass to Butler. Pass to Autobahn. And block. That one goes careening off the glass. Three on three. Here's DiVincenzo. Good, and it's Hill picking up the assist. And now just a three-point Miami lead. Miami's gone two or three when they've stepped beyond the arc in the second quarter. None passes to Butler. Good D by Lopez. Now, I'll be honest, I thought there's no way that he's missing that close. That's a bunny. Give it up for the aggressive defense, Kevin. Connaughton passes to Lopez. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Yeah, and checking out the numbers for Andy Tacumpo. He's coming off an excellent season. Third in scoring, sixth in rebounding, and he finished among the top ten in blocks, bringing that intimidation factor to the paint. And you only average top three in points if you have a particular mindset oh, that, that you are take the guy. Break. Two shots. one falls for him. and the fun loving personality Lopez has makes him a likable teammate it's clear that they love playing with him. Eric Bloodsoe's checked in for George Hill second free throw no good well, the Bucks are in a good spot with a young superstar entering his prime. And they like the fact that this core has more potential in it. It wasn't just a one-hit wonder as they committed to Lopez. They committed to Chris Middleton. And now they think that they can take the next step with Giannis's growth. And it's sent back by Lopez. To the left side wing. Here's Connaughton. He's still scoreless so far in this one. That evens the score. Well, Giannis so good in the paint. Steps a little bit outside to the mid-range and has the size and skill to get it done. Here's none. Guarded by Bloodsoe. And it's sent back by Lopez. Guys, uh, they've been getting it done. They came out with a mission, and they have been tough to stop. Yeah, that first quarter was a bit shaky. Good to see a player who doesn't let a slow start get to him. Timeout called the Heat. Eric Bledsoe really making a difference here. A yeah, smart move here. Talk things over. He's really eating them up, and they've tried a few different looks defensively. Nothing quite getting it done.
And Miami making a change here. Trogic has checked in. The Bucs also changing it up. Lopez comes in for Robin Lopez. And Middleton subbed in for Dante DiVincenzo. Stolen by Bloodsoe. 56 seconds left in the first half. And another basket for Milwaukee. Solid in the first. Fantastic here in the second. He was just waiting for the moment. None passes to Butler. Outside Dragic. And there's the call on Giannis Antetokounmpo. That's his third foul of the game. Yeah, looking up at the scoreboard, guys, that's his third foul. And his coach has to consider now sitting him down. 41 seconds left in the first half. The kick outside to Butler. Stolen by Middleton. And the turnovers will kill you. I mean, that's been their undoing thus far. Onto Takumbo, passes to Middleton, and he makes that one. Middleton doing a good job of being creative and finishing a difficult look. The Bucs shooting their seventh attempt at the foul line in this one. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. As we've gotten closer to halftime, their style has become more and more physical. Three second difference between shot clock and game clock. Here's none. Guarded by Bloodsoe. Butler from outside. The rebound by the Bucks. Lopez has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Here's Connaughton. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. It's been all about Eric Bloodsoe for Milwaukee. What a quarter that saw them generate a great comeback effort and are now out in front with momentum behind them. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Kevin, thanks. Chris, how did the team's offensive approach improve in that first half? Uh, we didn't have a, any type of tempo going. We were real stagnant, standing around a lot. Once we got moving, pushing the ball more, we got what we wanted. Hey, Chris, thanks for your time. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David, for that interview. And we'll see you back here after the break for third quarter basketball. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Ernie Johnson here with Shaq and Kenny and a favorite time of the year as we're halfway through one of the first games of this fresh NBA season. Eric Bledsoe is having one of those nights. He had 16 points, two steals, and one rebound. He struggled in their last game, but he's not having any problems tonight. Really good first half for him. He was right on the mark. Shaq, let's get your take on Milwaukee. They did an awesome, horrific job. That's right, Ernie. Awesome, horrific. That's awesome and terrific together. Anyway, they did an awesome, horrific job of limiting turnovers. They were almost mistake free. It puts you in the right frame of mind when you can play like that. And as long as they keep protecting the ball in the next two quarters, they will protect the lead. Kenny, what'd you think about Miami? I was unimpressed, Ernie. Very unimpressed with their offense. You know, guys seem to be going through emotions, not cutting, not hustling. They failed to get back into a great offensive rhythm. They'll need to step it up big in the second half to cut into this lead. And now with the second half about to get underway, let's send you back courtside. See everybody with Kevin Harlan. And if you're just joining us in this one, first half is in the books, one half to go. We are seeing a tremendous game from Jimmy Butler. Well, we'll find out if they were able to find an, an answer for him over the break. He was scoring with ease in that first half. Yeah, just way too easy out there, and I'm sure Coach is going to make that a priority at halftime. We played through the first half. Plenty of basketball, though, left in this one. Robinson is out there with Autobio. Then there's Jimmy Butler. Then it's Jones. And it's none in at the one. That's the group on the floor for Miami. Right. 
It's out of the Kumbo on the wing. Guarded by Robinson. And Jones sends it back. Out of bounds. Milwaukee takes possession. Let's now to take a look at the steal numbers over the last uh, couple months. The scope of that for Butler. I feel like he hasn't been paying as much attention to the defensive aspect of the game as he needs to. His steals have dropped over the past few months, and he needs to get back some of that fire on D. Derek Jones gets talked about a lot in terms of his dunking prowess and the way that he can get up in the air and maybe make a poster and a memory in the flash of an eye. But beyond the dunks, he's done a good job of really improving his game since coming into the league in 2016. Here's Butler. And to get open is Robinson. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Wesley Matthews picks one up. Hey, Brent, for Derek Jones, he saw the floor a good amount in his first full season with the Miami Heat. Now, Derek Jones is somebody that the Miami Heat continue to explore. And I guess if you're within that organization in Miami for a number of seasons, they like something Shoot about two. your competitive spirit. And that's where Derrick Jones has probably found a home here in Miami. A free throw drop for Butler. So after making the first, he goes one for two. And one issue for the Heat for years now, inefficient shooting. Well, young players are learning how to defend, so you need to do that first. But if you can't go down on the offensive end and you can't find ways to dig out of holes by shooting the basketball and get down 10 or 12 points, defense sometimes isn't enough. They've been the bottom third in points scored for quite a while. And Matthews kicks to Middleton. Lopez outside. Down to five on the shot clock. Balls knocked loose. And they turn over the 24-second buzzer, signaling the shot clock violation. Just over a minute and a half have passed here in the third quarter. None passes to Butler. For three, drains it from beyond the arc. Butler's got 23 points. And Butler knows how to take over games. Really good with his shot selection down the stretch. And there is no better way to add to the lead. Isn't that true, GA, especially when the slam is coming from the point guard? Oh, yeah, and his teammates love that one. I'm sure he's going to hear about it when he gets to the huddle. Robinson dishes to Butler. The pass to none. Shot clock at five. Let's it go from deep. Giannis grabs the miss. Onto the Kumbos. Got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. Bloodsoe outside. There's the triple. Offensive rebound, Bucks. Passes it to Middleton. Back to Lopez. Over Jones. Lopez, no what? The Heat trail by eight. Feeds to Jones. And he lays it straight in. And you gotta love the big bucket in the paint in this sort of a grinded out game. Bloodsoe outside. Pass to Antetokounmpo. Robinson pulls it in. Robinson's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Here's none. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Outside Butler. It's tipped. Stolen by Bloodsoe. Stripped it away. In transition, here comes Miami. Robinson passes to Autobahn. And the rejection by Giannis. 
pass to Lopez. Takes the three. Rebound by the Heat. They've been able to have some team success in this game despite what's been an awful shooting night for him. The kick outside to Butler. Shot clock at six to the paint. Good on that shot. With that, the Bucks' lead is cut down now to just four points with the basket from Autobio. For Milwaukee, they've gone just 25% from the field here in the second half. They're two of eight. Lopez dishes to Middleton. From deep, Giannis. And again, the Bucks miss. Uh, more good work on the glass there. When it's all said and done, I think rebounding might tell the story in this game. Well, their pass it to none. This one for three. Sinks the three-pointer. And now just a one-point Bucks lead. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Timeout called the Bucks. And as the coaches go to the clipboard to outline their strategy during the timeout, the players getting a chance to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's key to staying fresh all the way to the final whistle. And, Kevin, it really is. And every one of these players knows it. They're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink, especially uh, towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. Milwaukee making a switch here. Williams has checked in. And here's the 2K leaderboard with the list of the league's top shot blockers from last season. Fourth, Brooke Lopez. And shot blocking is the element of the game that I think he cares about the most. That's where he puts in that effort and energy. So it's the Bucks now. They lead by one. Middleton outside. It's stolen by Jones, and Jones slams it home. Gotta take care of the ball. They'll punish you uh -huh. if you're that careless. That's right, and that's severe punishment right there. And how about the sequence in its entirety? Momentum swing, and you love the effort here. And that's a foul called on Bam Adebayo. That's foul number two for him. Matthews scanning the floor. Back to Lopez. Over Adebayo. And Brooke Lopez, the bucket on the assist by Matthews. Matthews has got three assists now in this one. Here's none. Ball's knocked loose. Five on the clock. Lopez with the block. Oh, that's out of there. Not a high riser, but Lopez using his frame. A smart block, if you will. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Jones a chance to check out the stats for Matthews. How he did last season. He was around 12 points a game. Two assists and two rebounds. We know that he can come up with the occasional big play, but his overall numbers haven't been impressive. There is a bit of a feeling they're all looking to him to step up, and they know he's capable of doing it right now, just, just not getting it done. None passes to Jones. Kicks it to Robinson. Bledsoe against Jones. Outside Butler. And the three off target. And so it's Bledsoe with it. Bringing it up for the Bucks. They've led by as much as ten. 
Again, floor vision from Eric Bledsoe makes dishing that basketball look easy. Knocked loose. Here's Matthews. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. What a play there. The hoop plus the harm. And the shooting guard, Wesley Matthews, a terrific defender who has no hesitation, Greg, in taking that long three. <laughs> a pretty good combination. Weathered an Achilles tear back in 2015, but has remained a steady rotation player. Crowder, he's checked in for the Heat. The Heat trail by seven. The feed to Butler. Oh, and the jam by Butler. I mean, you got to admire Butler. I mean, when he's got space to rise up for the finish, he does not hesitate. Hill kicks to Matthews. Here's Lopez. Outside Hill. From past the arc, Miami grabs the miss. Nunn's got five rebounds tonight. Here's Crowder, and Crowder climbs it in. And you can see that Butler is the total package. Solid at recognizing when one of his guys is open. Outside Hill. From outside, off the mark. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. Nunn passes to Butler. Floats one, and it's good on the way in. And it's now only a one-point Bucks lead. And they're beginning to just flat-out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Now the pass to Hill. Takes a three. Again, missing Hill. For Miami, they've gone 8 of 12 from the field since the beginning of the third. Passes it to Autobio. To the middle. Here's Crowder, and foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That's on Marvin Williams. Nice work to get it inside and draw the contact. And out of Marquette, Jay Crowder, rank a sturdy two-way wing player. A great system player and glue guy. He had his best years with the Celtics. On the final year of this contract, oh, take a, a break. great value take a break. considering two what shots. he brings to the table. Ties it up, and this next one could give them the lead. And Greg, after this season, Antetokounmpo will be eligible to sign a Supermax extension. The Bucks want him to stay happy. The loss of Malcolm Brogdon last summer definitely stung. Trying to control costs, but you don't want to take a step back with Giannis's decision looming. And that one falls, and that puts him up by one point. They're really on their heels at this point. Yeah, on both ends of the floor, Kevin. They've lost some confidence along the way. To the inside, and that basket is going to count. Goaltending the official call. That's a very close call. I'm sure he thinks it's a clean block, but looks like it was on the way down. And the Heat with some changes. Kelly Olenek comes in for Bam Adebayo, and it's Igudala in for Jones. Giannis outside. Fires from deep. Connects from three-point range. Onto DeCumbo's got it all tied up now for Milwaukee. Miami's gone into the three-point range four times since halftime and buried two of them. Dragic with it. Out guarded by Giannis. And it's sent back by Lopez. And the space Lopez is able to cover on defense using that size and length to reject the shots. And they pick up two. And boy, he's really in a groove. Dominant performance last game. Same thing this time out. Seems to be nobody standing in his way. No roadblocks for him to get to his spot, capitalize, and continue to be aggressive. Down it goes. Nice one there from Kumbo. I mean, just look at the box score right now. He's not only filling it up with these points, but in every facet of the game. 
shot to stop the run. Again with the block. Uh, a defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Greg protecting the rim. Love the hustle. The three. Nunn grabs the board. Nunn's got six rebounds in the game. To the right side. And here's Olenek from the arc. And the rebound goes to Lopez. Bucks leading by four. Connington kicks to Adetokounmpo. He feeds it to Lopez. Carries it down low. And at 277 pounds, Lopez absorbs contact well. Difficult to deter him on the way up. And the call will be against George Hill. That is his first foul of the game. Robinson's checked in for Miami. And Milwaukee with a change here, too. Eric Bledsoe's checked in for Hill. Here's Dragic. He's got seven. 51 seconds left in the third. Six on the shot clock. Robinson for three. Rebound, Milwaukee. Lopez has got six rebounds now in the game. Bledsoe against Dragic. Now Lopez. Back to Bledsoe. Fires the three. Miami grabs the miss. Diego Dalla deciding where to go with it. Olenek. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact. And he'll go to the line for two. And Olenek up and down at the free throw line early in his career. But with his touch, he's bound to become more consistent. The Heat have shot 70% from the free throw line tonight. 7 for 10. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And that one falls for Olenek. And one of the problems in the first half, that shoddy work at the free throw line. They needed to fix that, and they've been much improved since the break. He doesn't get the second one. Here's Connington. And another basket for Milwaukee. And this is why coaches talk about playing with pace. The scoreboard tells it all. Kind of get a team defensively on their heels. And if you can keep pushing and keep attacking, they'd never find some kind of defensive balance to help slow you down. Giannis Antetokounmpo, he's feeling it tonight and has been the driving force for the Milwaukee Bucks. They've leaned on him for offense, and he hasn't let him down. He's now up to 23 points today. We come back right after this. And let's take this opportunity now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. It's just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? Yeah, those are the kind of plays that you want to put on a canvas. Just beautiful basketball. The fourth quarter has arrived. So good to have you with us. And it's Dragic bringing up the ball for Miami. They trail by seven. On the floor for Milwaukee, starting the fourth quarter. They've got Bledsoe. Williams is out there with Chris Middleton. Then it's Brooke Lopez. And it's Connaughton in at the two-guard spot. Near the three-point line, it's Olenek. That shot off. So Milwaukee will take it the other way. Here's Connaughton. Down low. Over Robinson. Lopez, no luck. And thus far, they've managed to overcome an off game from him offensively. Rockets the pass to Iguodala. Olenek with it. Outside Dragic. Good on the three-point shot. You just can't leave Goran Dragic open 
from the three-point line. He loves getting free from beyond the arc and letting it fly. Connaughton passes to Middleton. Dragic against Bledsoe. Shoots over Dragic. No good from Bledsoe. He may not be the strongest inside presence in the league, but still, he's got to convert from there. Iguodala kicks to Olenek. Crowder the pass to Dragic. Iguodala with it. To the wing right side. Here's the three. Rebound by Williams. Bucks leading by four. Middleton outside. Pass to Lopez. Good, and the assist goes to Middleton. Middleton's got three assists now in this one. Yeah, trying more and more to utilize the three-pointer. It's a good idea. That's his second three of the game. One in each half. Outside Crowder. Stolen by Middleton. Here's Connaughton. A strong finish under heavy pressure all over. And now it's a nine-point Milwaukee lead. And here is Iguodala. Fourth quarter of play, and we're about two and a half minutes through it right now. Agic against Bledsoe. And the foul on Eric Bledsoe. That's his third foul of the game. Antetokounmpo's checked in for Williams. Here's Dragic off the inbound, and he lays it up and in. Dragic has got five points now this quarter. Now opposing coaches telling their defenders, be more physical with Dragic. That time he took advantage and doesn't mind getting knocked around a bit in there. Shot's good by Bledsoe. Bledsoe's got 20 points. And uh, kind of par for the course here, right? Coming through with a solid offensive game to help them get this lead. Dragic with a wide open look. Trains the three-pointer. And he's finally getting the feel from beyond. His second three of the half right there. Pass to Connaughton. Puts up a three. Milwaukee getting another chance here. Well, the D doesn't seem to be too worried about him from three-point range, and he shows us why still. I expect him to make one of those. Rogic kicks to Olenek. Lock at six. Back to Dragic. The three. Giannis grabs the miss. Giannis has got 14 rebounds tonight. Going after it. And onto Takumbo. Slams it in. Oh, phenomenal alley-oop slam there. They are taking advantage of a team that looks lost out there. Iguodala, the pass to Dragic. And that one hits back iron. Milwaukee leading by eight. The pass to Connaughton. Lopez outside. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Good soft hands there from Lopez. Efficient in the catch-and-shoot motion. Now a timeout called by Miami. Yeah, you can't make any excuses right now for them giving the ball up as much as they have in this one. Hopefully they can get on the same page during this timeout. And the Heat with some changes. Autobio is checked in for Olenek. And it's Butler in for Robinson. The Bucs also changing it up. Lopez, he's checked in for Lopez. Dante DiVincenzo comes in for Pat Connaughton. And it's Hill in for Eric Woodson. He gets a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. During that break, Eric Spolstra had some words for his team. 
He is not happy with the turnovers. He said, we have got to get some shots. It's as simple as that, guys. Play smart and value the basketball. We'll see if the message sunk in, Kevin. Thank you, David. So hard to stop down low. Giannis gets around the basket, and it feels like within eight feet, he's going to dunk just about anything. Miami no good on that time either. And here's Middleton bringing it up now for Milwaukee. This is the most they've led by, 13 points. Here's Giannis. Bank shot, no good. The Heat have gone three of eight here in the fourth quarter. Now here's Dragic, outside Butler. Looking to end the run. And again, it's the Heat missing. Bucks leading by 13. Hill kicks to Middleton. Passes to Anadokounmpo. Shoots over Crowder. And that's good from Anadokounmpo on the assist by Middleton. Miami's gone 2 of 5 on three-point shots since the end of the third quarter. Iguodala finds Butler. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. Well, he played a seamless first half, but in the second half, some poor decisions right here. He continues to throw the ball away. And Miami making a change here. Nunn's checked in. And the Bucks with possession. They're on a 16-5 run. That one drops for him. Down the stretch, he's been flat out awesome. He helped them get the lead, and now he's making sure they keep it. Butler goes in, and the rejection by Adetokounmpo. Outside Hill. High arcing shot, and it's Miami with the rebound. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions right now. They need a basket. Here's none. He's guarded by Hill. And it's sent back by Lopez. The shot by Autobio, no good. All the energy is on the other side right now, and every miss just makes it worse. Well, the other team is scorching hot, and they come down on this end and can't find a way to get the embers going. Pass to Butler, and it's Butler with the jam. Now, some guys have a hard time finding their teammates in those possessions. Dragic is always looking to dish to get it to the open man. Lopez dishes to Antetokounmpo. Goes back up. Hill, no good. Okay, and he has not made one shot in this one. Has to be on his mind every time he's pulling up. I tell you what, what a good thing that he showed up today because without him, this thing would already be over. Pass to Lopez. Launches it. Good. And it's Giannis picking up the assist. Giannis has got four assists in the game. The Heat trail by 16. And some changes here for the Bucks. Lopez comes in for Robin Lopez. And Wesley Matthews subbed in for Chris Middleton. Adetokounmpo against Crowder. Down to five on the shot clock. And it's sent back by Lopez. Hate to say it, but if they're still trailing at the final buzzer, a lot of this is going to be felt by him. His shooting tonight has just been atrocious. Here's none. And he's going up for the alley-oop. There is the all-around game of Butler. A nice assist to cash in on that possession. Milwaukee leading by 16. Poke loose. And now here's Dragic, the fast break chance. And they're on the break. A shot by Anadokounmpo. Nobody around. And another three for Milwaukee. They've given up a lot of three-pointers here today. Dragic, the pass to none. From downtown, knocks down the three ball. Just a little bit off in the first, but he's been anything but that here in the second quarter. Really impressive to see him turn it around like that. Hill kicks to Anadokounmpo. Three, three, three. 
And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. And it wasn't too long ago, Brent, we were wondering what Giannis could do if he bulked up. Well, we don't have to wonder anymore. Yeah, I don't think we need to wonder about an MVP in the league. The curious thing, Kevin, was last year after winning that award, Giannis coming out and talking about he's only at 60% of his potential. Can you imagine what's coming down the line if he realizes the other 40? He's something else. And the first one drops. We talk a lot about Russell Westbrook and the way that he attacks every game. I think in the Eastern Conference, Giannis Antetokounmpo might be the same way, just tenacious and full of energy, and he fills up the stats. Here's what Milwaukee's going with right now. Chris Middleton's checked in for Dante DiVincenzo, and Eric Bledsoe subbed in for Hill. No good on the second, so he hits one of two. Well, Bam at six foot ten might be a little bit undersized, but there's something in his activity on a nightly basis, Kevin, that feels like he plays bigger. Just a pogo stick, gets around, covers some ground laterally, and does a great job of both protecting the rim and finishing strong. The pass to Nunn. Butler against Middleton. Outside Crowder. Four on the clock. I think it's natural to tense up when Giannis is in the area, especially as a shooter. Middleton dishes to Bloodsoe. Knocked away. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And with Adebayo and finishing plays, Brent, he is a terrific dunker. No, no doubt. Guys are looking for him all over the rim, and you could throw it just about anywhere, and Bam is going to go up and just look for that. Bam, right on you. Great energy, great athleticism, and continues to find ways in which he can make solid offensive contributions for the Heat. And he can't get the first one. The versatility Middleton offers up is exceptional. A capable defender, a good scorer, an effective shooter. Those are the kind of switchblade players that coaches love. And he's good on the second. The Heat trail by 18. Here's none. We've got 155 left in the fourth quarter. Got a piece of it. Lopez with the steal. Butler against Anadokounmpo. Over Butler. Outside Matthews. Six to shoot. Good day. Good day. Here's Giannis. And it's good with time running down on the shot clock. Onto Dacumbo's got 37. Miami's gone beyond the arc seven times here in the fourth and been successful three times. And one team is just completely outclassing the other tonight. Spirited performance, and it really ignited what is turning out to be a monster win here for Milwaukee. It didn't look like a game that was going to work out for them, but man, how things changed in a hurry. Man, I'd say it was gutsy, Kevin, in terms of what they were able to do in that comeback an incredible amount of fortitude when facing all of that adversity and not just to come back but how about to come back and win going away and it'll go down as their first official win of the new year and they're able to even the score of this series at a game of peace still two more to go in the season series and you know when you look at the huge impact he had just a monster game for Giannis he was tough to cover all game long one of those nights when he felt like nobody could stop him and they didn't blood so outside Lopez inside Adebayo on him Middleton outside and another three for Milwaukee but the truth is they've had control of this game yeah it looks like a veteran team tonight getting out on the road playing with assertiveness confidence 
fully in control for this win. Here's Dragic. Another miss, and they desperately need a bucket. Bloodsoe outside. And so it's the Bucks taking care of business in this one. To come into an opponent's building and dominate the way they did tonight says, I think, Greg, an awful lot about this team. I, I guess they don't need home cooking to feel at <laughs> home. I mean, Kevin, just a masterful performance all the way around. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks, Kevin. Here with Eric Bledsoe. Eric, a strong performance tonight. What's been the difference? Uh, we're getting out of transition, you know, trying to get defensive stops. And everybody's just playing their game. And it's show tonight, Eric. Thanks very much. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. And that'll do it, folks. For Brett Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan along with our 2K Sports crew. So long and good night, everyone.